wants to make it big. Everybody wants to make it big. Everybody wants to make it big, and only a certain few have succeeded in doing that. How do you know you have what it takes? What makes you so different from every other person that's trying to make it? Some quit on their dreams. Some quit on their dreams. Some quit on their dreams. Some never even decide on how to chase them. Which one are you? What separates the winners from the losers? Do you know? Do you know? Do you know? I do. This is my story. And it's never been told before. This is my life. This is my life. This is my life. This is my grind. This is Duval. Hey, Mel. Hey, uh, hey, 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 like this and move out the way. Why you got a red shot? We got red shots up. 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 You ain't know it's a lot of red. The shirt is red off. Red tough game. Oh, yeah, we got a lot of things that ain't never been seen. We got red cups, so whatever we do. I thought I knew a plan. No, that's real. I don't agree. You got four. It might be my downfall. Don't knock the camera. Oh, baby, don't knock the camera. The power of the people. 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 Right now, tonight is a VIP squad night. I don't talk we got to man, respect man. our brand when our brand brand and itself. VIP squad. It's black so man. Tight up, man. Tight up, man. What's up, man? Hey, 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 what's up, man? Well, you can't sit there. Of course, you can't sit there. You can't sit there. You can't sit there. You You can't sit there. 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 You 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 can't sit there. You You can't sit there. 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 You can't sit let me guess. You know what I'm Vodka, cranberry, no. Uh, rock star. Rock, rock star. Yeah, it's rock star. That's his signature drink. Rock star. What's up, Sydney? When did I turn your top down? Man, Sydney just got off in the wind, man. <coughs> it's 
I don't know what to say about that young man. He's going to some trouble. I'm going to some trouble too, but I mean, like y'all ain't talk to him going through trouble. Nobody knows what's going on. Going I'm, uh, trouble, I'm, I'm like, going through my trouble. You see my? Let me show you, show you my trouble. Let me show you, show you my trouble. <laughs> this is my trouble. Bro. <laughs> Alright, so like I said last time, man, Duval Fest was cool. Everybody came out, did their thing. It was a good turnout. After the show, we brought it to the homie's house. Um, went over some beats. Uh, freestyle started going off. Even people that don't even freestyle, like Melly Mel, <laughs> started freestyling. Um, Skit came through, camera shot. Uh, wasn't nothing but love, man. But, um, but uh, back to Bangham House, man. Bangham pulled out this, this, uh, this schedule. <laughs> And you know his situation, he's on house arrest right now, so it's not a laughing matter. But um, his schedule pretty much looks something like this. <laughs> house arrest, struggle. Monday, 12 a.m., 12 p.m., home. 12 a.m., 12 p.m., home. Wednesday, 12 a.m., home. 3 p.m. class. 4 p.m. home. Thursday. <laughs> Friday. It is, it is, it is interesting. Trouble. It is interesting. This is my trouble. I thought you were some blood. And then look. And then look. I used to. I used to. Like, ain't nothing in there. That's my trouble. <laughs> Two more. I'm hungry, that's my trouble. <laughs> right. Do you have any extra cups and ice out there? Uh, <laughs> you stop know. being an alcoholic. <laughs> I'm not an alcoholic. I manage it very well. So you should so you're a functioning alcoholic. Exactly. I mean everybody you is a drink. the AA meetings and you just say I'm gonna Anybody be all who right. drinks is a functioning drinker, I wouldn't say I'm an alcoholic. But some people are like social drinkers. Some, no, you just seem like you're not everybody you're a functioning, you're a functioning drinker. Exactly. Some people, some people can't take it. A functioning it. drinker, not a functioning alcoholic. <laughs> yeah, thank you. There's a difference. <laughs> <laughs> What's the difference? And you had to figure that out right now. Right. Because you didn't know that until well, you I mean, just I right did. Now. I just had to analyze the word. An alcoholic means that you have a problem. <laughs> a and you don't have a problem. Most of them don't think they have a problem. Right. Most the of them. I'm going to hit them in the nose. Because I'm the not first, an alcoholic. The okay. first part is admitting. Right. Of course the first part is. Of, yeah. It's admitting. That's it. That's if it's true, though. <laughs> so you can stop anytime you want. Yeah. yeah. That's what they all say. Right. That's what they all say. The difference is. And they keep drinking. They keep drinking. They're in rehab. I'm not. That's the difference. Oh, I just don't go to rehab when they be in the middle of the flow. Drinking all the time. All right, so it was cool checking in with the homie Bangham. Uh, the whole cast came through. We took pictures. Um, that whole day was was on point. It was one of the busiest days ever in my life, from top to bottom, from photo shoot to two shows, two cities. To linking up with Camera Shine 250 Plus. We just got so much done in one day. This is really the epitome of the life and the grind put together. When the cameras are there, this ain't no, this ain't scripted. This is real, you know what I'm saying? This is a reality show. Whoever's out there that's uh, trying to get serious with it, um, holler at me, man. Facebook, Dez Nado, D E Z space N A D O. Twitter, at Dez Nado. Uh, who is Dez Nado.com. But, um, it was a good day. Um, so, what's actually also interesting about this season right here, season one, is that um, well, I'm actually narrating as it's going along. So you're getting to see the process as I'm getting to see the process. So what happened on day one was I brought episode one through to Bangham's house, and we all got to check out the pilot before we even got to episode two or three. I brought the pilot through, and the whole cast got to check it out. So that was cool to see it like that. <laughs> oh, we gonna die in this world. This is my life. This is my life. This is my life. This is my life. This is 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 This is
not be able to use it, okay. but our shirt feel great. Too. Yeah, Wait I just minute, think if anything, it'll probably do a anyway. cut it in in the middle like the scene here before the attorney comes through the door. Yeah. So that way... Uh, yeah. Hey, yeah. what's up? Day. It's Sherelle Fantac. <laughs> And I am on set with um, a local film. Hopefully it would be um, a TV series. It's called The Rose Order. And the director is Tamika. And she's over there directing, as you can see. But um, I play the character Red. Um, my grandmother was in the mafia. And this is um, the feature, 2057. And my grandmother just died. And I'm just finding out the bad news. Um, so hopefully it go well and hopefully I'll be able to cry on cue. So cross your fingers for me. Say break a leg. I heard she cut a man head off. Yeah, I heard she cut a man head off. Pretty lady. Did you ever go uh, by in Montego Bay in that house where the lady used to kill all the slaves? Yeah. Like you still have your letter, right? Uh, yep, it's in the purse. Awesomeness. Do you want me just to take the letter out the purse? Well, the, or? The, um, this scene, you're just kind of sitting on steps reading okay. the letter. Wow, when we do the scene on the 8th, right. it's like you're checking in your bag for your keys and you see this note and you open it and then we're going to get a shot of it, drop it to your feet because you read that. Yeah, okay. hey, red, I'm, I'm killing myself. Don't right. come up. Yeah. Right. So, yeah. So, that's pretty much what you're doing. Okay. Um, this is you, right? Yeah, this is good. All right. One thing in line for me one more time. Okay. I don't know um, the police officer's lines, so I was just improv. But, okay. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. And then the officer comes to sit by you. Uh, Miss Washington, I'm really sorry for your loss, but does that letter pertain to the case? Give me a break, okay? Can't you wait a minute before you start interrogating me? Right. I'm sorry, you're right. This is a very emotional time for you. But I'm going to need to bring you to the station and have a conversation with you about this. Good. That reaction, like, you know, like, you dog, like, okay. give me a break. Because think of it. The way I wrote it is futuristic cop, they're not very emotional, they're just all about solving the case. Right. Like he's trying to be nice, but he's still trying to do his job, but you don't really know that. So you just right. kinda like pop, typical cop. Right. And you're a mafia lady's granddaughter, so you just are so just be like you're still grieving and you're sad, but be just be standoffish about it. Okay. So yeah. I think that's actually better because I would get to see both of you. Right, right, right. Uh, uh make sure the shoes on a little bit. Okay. It'll be in for a while. The doors open is gonna affect anything. If I'm blocking it, huh? The doors open. That'd be great if it stayed open. It'd be great if it stayed open. It'd be wonderful if it stayed open. All right, just wanna make sure we, we can not use the light. Shot. All right, so Candace, David, say the line. Ma'am, I'm sorry for your loss, but is that letter relevant to what has happened? Give me a break, okay? Can't you wait a minute before you start interrogating me? Redetta, I'm sorry. You're absolutely right. But could you come down to the station? We just have a few questions to ask you. That won't be necessary. I'm the Washington family attorney, and you cannot question my client at this time. Am I in your shop? No. Okay. Always a pleasure to see you, sir. Okay, so you heard the conversation and everything, mm -hmm. right? All right, so we'll leave the door open. Mm -hmm. All right, that's fine. All right, so that's pretty much all I can show y'all, man. Life and grind. I told y'all we really do this, from acting to, to modeling to rapping to producing. It's a lot of talent here in Jacksonville, man, and I'm glad that y'all are finally getting to see it from a different perspective. Shout out Sherrod, man. She's really doing a thing out there on the acting tip. Um, shout out to Jade. Shout out to uh, Medina. You'll see Medina next week. Medina's auditioning for a local TV station um, for a show called The Audition, actually. Um, it's kind of like a talent show variety show kind of thing. Uh, she does a thing, she does a monologue actually, which has to be pretty interesting for y'all to see. I think y'all will be real, really impressed by what she does on that. Also next week, we're gonna make history. We're gonna debut the video for Kind of Dead Remix featuring Kojo, Mystic Dino, Ja Elect, and your homeboy, yours truly, Dez Nato. Um, kind of Dead Remix, we're gonna do it at Studio 7. We're gonna record it, we're gonna debut it live on cable TV, put it together, and just do it all in the same day. It's never been done before, trust me. This is history. 
Duval Stand Up, Life and Grind. Kind of their remix next week. This week, uh, we got Sherelle, we got the feature artist of the week, Blazer Duval. Shout out to Homie One Time, Vip Squad Stand Up. One of the original members of Vip Squad, VIP. Very few people know that. There's not a. See y'all next week. Check out the feature artist of the week after these messages. Blazer Duval, what it is, Vip Squad. It's your boy Blaze Duval, being my songwriter slash artist from Jacksonville, Florida. Got the city behind me right now, Main Street Bridge downtown. Duval, I love y'all. Also, shouts out to Vip Squad for putting the song Life and Grind Duval Volume 1. Salute. That's what's up, that's what's up. So, uh, what you working on right now, Blazer? Hey man, so right now, uh, we're riding off the kind of the coattails of the Grind and Die single. Y'all probably know me best from that. We, uh, we got some steady run out in Charlotte, Las Vegas, Brooklyn, Atlanta. Got on the radio out in all those cities. So shouts out to everyone who played me out there, especially 94.7 in Charlotte. We broke the record first. Shouts out to the Good Times show out in Las Vegas who really put a steady run on it. And shouts out to all the fans who actually voted me best male artists on the Good Times show on their awards show in 2013. So salute to all the fans, man. I love y'all. Where, where can they go to hear that? Uh, grind and Die, y'all Y'all can actually go ahead and check that out on iTunes, all the regular uh, MP3 service sites, you know, Amazon, iHeartRadio, Spotify, y'all can stream it on there. We got a music video for it too, we actually shot it right across the way over here, man, 1904 down Ocean Street. Um, it was uh, hospitable enough to let us shoot the video out there, so if you check out the video on YouTube, on my YouTube channel, youtube.com slash Blazer Dude Ball. You can actually check out all the scenes from 1904 that we shot it at, man. A real local feel to it. And like I said, you can check it out all online, man. Just put in Grind or Die, Blazer Dude Ball, man. You can check it out. That's what's up. So what's, the, uh, what's the next upcoming project that you're working on? Uh, so right now, uh, the most current thing we have, we actually just dropped another music video and another single. It's called PSA. Uh, basically, public service announcement. It's uh, it's the fall to grind and die. It's not the official single follow up, but it's something they wanted to give to the streets right now. Um, it's basically a, a hip hopish feel to it. It's a nice public service announcement. You know, letting everybody know. You know, um, you know, we're real on that lyrical tip right now. Uh, we try to put good music into the streets, some positive messages. Uh, and like I said, it's for all the grinders. Like that. That's that's the whole movement on, on my end is just making that. That mood music, that motivational music, man. It's like, you know, without having to be negative about it, just making the music for people that you know want to put in that work and that life and grind, man. So what's what's the hardest part about the grind in Duval, the life and grind? Man, the hardest part, the hardest part of life and grind of being in Duval right now is, is you know what I'm saying. It's, we're not necessarily on the level of Atlanta or of Miami at this point, but. You know, with, with things like One Spark, people from like all over the country, man, people from out of the country, it's a beautiful thing, man. And like I said, it's it's like that next step to show that the city's actually behind all the all the creators in the city, man. Everybody just like you and me, are you saying it's, everyone's behind them. So it's, it's a great thing, man. So check that out too. Be OneSpark.com for more information on that. What's up? Anything else you want to tell the people to do, Paul? And man, I want to go ahead and let everyone know, man, like, chase your dreams, man. It's, it's, it's like, be in it for you and be true to yourself. It's like, don't let anyone tell you you can't do it. Grind or die, you know, it's, it's not just a song that I made. It's a lifestyle that's commending that, that positive, you know, mentality that if you grind, 
you can get it. And if you don't grind, if you don't have anything to stand for, man, you're just gonna waste it away. Like you don't you don't wanna do that, you know. You know, it's it's a like profound quote I heard before is you know, don't waste the gift, man. It's it's just not don't do it. <laughs> um like especially for the fans, like the reason I do it is more for my fans than anything else, man. It's it's off to y'all. And it's for my city. And like I said, don't let anyone tell you you can't do it. Yeah. And definitely, man, all the grinders out there, man, if y'all want to follow me on Twitter, it's at Blazer Duval, at B-L-A-Z-A Duval, D-U-V-A-L, man. Same as my Instagram, same as my YouTube, man. BlazerDuval.com is the website. Check it out, man. Anything on there, my songs, my pictures, my videos, it's all on there, man. Representing the city all the way. All the grinders, man. Make music for y'all and all my fans. Love my city, man. I'm steady on court like Paul, I point them all out when I get the ball, these ladies I'm courting, no one important, I blaze Duval, no I'm not from Portland, no I don't ride around in Chevy, I drive around town like Michael Andretti, imagine me inside of a Vetti, I bring your girlfriend if you let me, can I? Sweat in the hands won't touch, even though that dare may not be enough, she's shaking her stuff to my OCD in the middle row like she ADD, pay attention, class is a session, I'm teaching this lesson, there's only first place, no such thing as second, no you can't ask a question, only takes time and Time is sacred. I ain't faking, my flow is real. Just never thought to break the seal. Now that I'm going, I'm thinking of losses. No coming back if you ever leave Oz. I want the whole deck, you can have the halls. I bet you won't step, you don't have the. B I'm in my zone like a playing with cues. You think Carmelo plays here in the dude? Yeah, like a grind, Duval, volume one, man. We here. Peace.